going to take a look at some reading goals. So let's look through some examples of how I might choose a reading goal. In reading, there are four areas where you might set a goal, and especially at the beginning of the year, I'd encourage you to choose one in comprehension or accuracy as we're getting back into our reading groove. So let's take a look at those four categories. So you might make a goal in comprehension, and we will have talked about some of these strategies in our learning already this year. So you might be working on checking for understanding, making sure you know what's going on in the story or know what they're talking about in the nonfiction book. You might want to work on backup and rereading to make sure you're keeping on track of what's happening. You can also make sure you're using prior knowledge to connect with text, so using your background knowledge. Or you might work on monitoring and fixing up to make sure you understand what you're reading. Then there's also the category of accuracy, where a lot of your goals might come from in this month of September. So accuracy includes strategies like cross-checking. So do the pictures or words look right, sound right, and make sense? You might also be working on using the pictures when you're figuring out tricky words. You might be looking at using beginning and ending sounds to help you figure out words or flipping the sound, especially of vowels, so trying out the different vowel sounds that you know, or you might work on chunking letters and sounds together to figure out those longer words especially. Then there are two more categories. Fluency is where we're able to read the words not too fast, that it's hard to keep track of and we miss things, but not too slow so that we still can understand what's going on. So some different strategies we can use to help us with fluency include voracious reading, so that means reading lots and lots, reading appropriate level texts that are a good fit, and then also rereading texts. You can reread a book many, many times to help you become fluent reading it. And the last category would be expand vocabulary. So the way you can expand vocabulary is by reading lots and lots. We call that voracious reading and tuning into interesting words. So I'm going to monitor my reading right now and try to think about as I'm reading, what do I need to work on that will help me get to be an even better reader? As I do guided reading with students over the coming weeks, we'll have more specific goals, but this week you're going to be deciding for yourself what you think is a good fit goal. So let's monitor our reading like I'm going to do right now and try to think about what could I be working on this week in my reading for my reading goal. When Joseph was a baby, his grandfather made him a wonderful blanket to keep him warm and cozy and to chase away bad dreams. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful blanket grew older too. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your blanket. It's frazzled, it's worn, it's unsightly, it's torn. It's time to throw it out. Now, grade twos, as I'm on the third page of this book, I am not sure exactly what is going on. I know that there's this boy and his grandpa made him something but I am not following what's going on. So I'm wondering if I should work on a comprehension strategy and I'm probably going to choose the first one, check for understanding, so that I can practice as I'm reading, pausing and making sure I understand so that if I'm confused or I'm not sure exactly what's happening, I can go back and fix that up. So that student would take the star and drag it to comprehension and they were going to work on Check for understanding to make sure they're understanding their reading. Now I've got a new book and let's practice again listening for what reading goal would make sense. So I'm going to pretend I'm working on something. I'm a different student now. Let's take a look at what reading goal I might choose. Hey, you've got an idea. Let's play dive the bus. It'll go fast. Now grade twos, I think I was pretty fluent during that reading, but I don't think it made sense. And I think there's some, there are some problems with the words that I was trying out. Let's, let's go back to what I was doing. Hey, if got an idea, that does not sound right. I think that I need to think about the words that I'm trying and think about what I might need to change. Hey, if got. I don't know what if got means. I think this must mean something different. So I see a word I know inside this one. I see that capital I. I think that means it's the word I and then the V. I wonder if this E might be silent. So maybe it's I've. Let's try that and see if it makes more sense and it sounds right. Hey, 
I've got an idea. So it looks right. It sounds right. Hey, I've got an idea. And it makes sense. I've got an idea. That means the pigeon is saying it's his idea. Okay, let's keep going then. Let's play dive the bus. Now, it, it sort of looks like dive. That sounds right, but it doesn't make sense. I don't know what it means to dive the bus. So I'm going to go back and try a different word. Let's play, and I see a blend here, draw, draw drive the bus. Let's play drive the bus. I think that looks right. It sounds right. Drive the bus. And it makes sense. It makes way more sense than dive did. So this student would go to the accuracy section. They're working on making sure they're getting the words correct. And they would choose the strategy of cross-checking. So do the pictures, words, look right, sound right, and make sense. So that student would take the star and for their goal, they were going to work on accuracy and they would work on cross-checking. Let's read a different book and pretend I'm working on something else differently in my reading. So let's pretend I'm paying attention to my reading and trying to choose a writing goal. Chris was an a-s-t-r-a-n-a-t. I'm realizing grade twos that this is a long word and saying the sounds all by themselves is making it too long for me to hear together. So I think I need to work on an accuracy strategy to help me figure out this tricky word. But instead of sounding out every sound by itself, I think I need to practice the strategy of chunking the letters and sounds together. So let's see if I practice that strategy. It might be a good goal for me. Let's try as, tro, not, as, tro, not, astronaut. Chris was an astronaut. And um, there's another tricky one. I'm going to try my reading goal that I just chose. Important. Important. An important and very busy astronaut. So that student is working on the accuracy section. So they take their star over there and they were going to work on chunking letters and sounds together. Well, now you're all set to make your goals for this week. Monitor as you're reading for what might help you to be an even better reader, and then you can make that your goal and mark it in this slides presentation. Happy reading, guys. Bye.